welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look this has absolutely nothing to do with them you owe this season to you like this people you got some people out here taking the the decisions that you make personal they making it personal to themselves they feel like you may have done them wrong. They feel like you did not consider them in your decision making. But what they don't realize is this has nothing to do with them. This is everything personal to you. You owe yourself this easy. You have slept on yourself for long enough. It's funny because I've seen plenty of people say this quote like, um, uh, like, other people then slept on me or plenty of people then slept on me but i one thing i never did was sleep on myself i'll be the first to admit i have i have slept on myself i sure have my potential is beyond uh is beyond me <laughs> okay my potential is beyond me is beyond what you see like i know what i'm capable of and i have slept on myself and i have slept on myself long enough you've slept on yourself long enough this season is for you this has nothing to do with them the decisions that you decided to make is because of your well-being it's because you want to be okay mentally it's because you want to be okay physically this has nothing to do with them it's because no one is responsible for your happiness but you but you had to realize that you're realizing it you're realizing that it's nothing that nobody can do. It's nothing that nobody can say that can move you, that can control your life, that can make you happy. So, and the funny thing is, um, somebody asked me the other day, like, well, how do you deal with, um, like, the judgment? In other words, like, how do you deal with the judgment from other people uh, as a result of doing what it is that you want to do? I said, well, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> I just don't give a shit. Okay, <laughs> that's just how you got to be. You can't play the fence. You can't be on one, one. I mean, it's one side or the other. You can't play in the middle. Because when you play in the middle, people are going to play with you. When you play in the middle, people are not going to respect you. Like, they're not, they don't care to respect it anyway. But when you just really fall back, when you really just don't care, when you really just live life for you, they're going to talk behind your back. And I, re I like, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care. Talk behind my back. I don't care what the people are saying. Don't come to me saying what somebody can say about me. Unless I want to know. Unless I ask you, what did they say? Like, you can keep that. Because I know people are going to talk regardless. They're talking about you regardless. They're talking about you in your current situation. So you might as well do it the way that you want to do it you might as well do it the way in which make you feel good the way in which make you happy you might as well do it and bump your own head sometimes people do it because sometimes people have something to say because they care about you but it's like no nah, we all have our own journey here on this earth we have to bump our own heads we have to like go head in and either um succeed or fail at whatever it is like, we have to get our own experiences. So, like, they're taking your decisions personal, but you got to do what your soul desires. Like, a lot of people on this earth, they perish on, they go on to the next phase of their journey, and they leave this earth not feeling fulfilled. The only reason why you're doing what you're doing is because you want to feel fulfilled. You want to make the best out of this lifetime. I totally get it. <laughs> like, I totally get it. But not everyone understands because people are living for their children. People are living for their parents. People are living for their family. And this is why you have people, when people perish on from this earth, they go crazy. They go bananas. They go nuts. They, they, they can't take it. They don't know how to deal with not having that person around. Because we are so dependent as a human race, we're so dependent on other people to make us feel good. We're so dependent on other people to bring us joy, but we forget the part of having self-love. So because you've learned how to love yourself, because you've learned how to make decisions for yourself, you have some people judging you for it. But I'm just here to tell you, like, you're on the right path. 
you're on the right path. If people don't like the decisions that you make, if people don't like you, like you're doing something right. You're doing something right. And you're. this is how you know you're doing it right. Because you're doing it because you want to do it. <laughs> because you're doing it for you. Because you're doing it because it's what your soul desires. And not what everybody else thinks you should do. Because you're not in a box. Because you don't let society just pull you any and every way. Because society says that things should be a certain way. You're not doing it just because of that. You're doing it because you want to do it. And if society say it should be done and you don't do it, it's because you don't want to do it. It's because you're not feeling it. It's because it's not who you are. It's because you ain't got it. It's because you don't want it. <laughs> and that's okay. People are taking the decisions that you are making personal. They're taking it personal because they love you. <laughs> Some of them, they, they do love you. They do love you. But on the, in the same breath, you're thinking, well, if you love me, then let me go. <laughs> let me go. A lot of people, you got some people who, um, they it, it hurts to see you grow. It hurts to see you grow because they have been stagnant. They are moving, like they may be growing, but it's at a, at a very small pace compared to the ways in which you're growing. It's like you're always doing something. You're always leveling up. It's like it's 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 always something new with you. It's like you just keep going. It's like you're not going. You're not slowing down. You're not slowing down, and you may not be going as fast as you want to go. But all people see, all they see is your growth. All they see is your evolution. They recognize that you're different. They recognize your mindset. It's different. <laughs> they recognize that you stand out in a crowd full of people. You are different. You are different, but this has nothing to do with them. This has everything to do with you. You owe this season to you. You owe this season to you. So when they see you in isolation, when they see you separating, when they see you like in full grind mode, when they see you not talking to nobody, like when they see you out living your best life, when they see you spending money, whatever it is, like when they see you doing you, they have... They gonna have to recognize like this still it has nothing to do with them it has nothing to do with them well, why you ain't invite me this ain't got nothing to do with you this is for me you are doing things for you now you didn't play the game where you was doing stuff for other people where you was moving because of other people like now you recognize it's time to live life for you it's time to prioritize it's time to prioritize your peace it's time to prioritize your happiness because can't nobody do it for you. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. They don't realize that can't nobody do it for you. And a lot of people, like I said, they are. They are living for other people. They are moving because society says this is the way that you should move. Because of fear of being judged. A lot of people don't live out their dreams. A lot of people die with a lot of regrets. And that's the opposite of what you want to do. Like, you recognize that you got a nice little lifetime here. Like, you got some time here. And you want to make the best of it. No matter who you may hurt in the process. And it's not that you want to hurt anybody. But you know that people are going to be hurt because we're human and we got feelings. And people, think they do take things personal. But this ain't got nothing to do with them. This ain't got nothing to do with them. You did not consider them once in your decision making. And they might say, well, that's the problem. But it's like, no, nah, it's your life. It's your life. That's not the problem. That's actually the solution that we should be focusing on ourselves. And by doing that, by becoming the best human being that we can be, that's how we're going to have something for others. That's how we're going to help elevate this uh, the vibrations of this planet like that's how this world is going to become a better place not us getting together not a group of people who don't have anything to give each other sitting around each other doing nothing talking about nothing like that's bringing the vibrations of the planet down like that ain't doing nothing like that's not doing nothing for your well-being but because you've taken time for yourself you've recognized like yeah that's the real bag. <laughs> That's the real bag. That self-love is the real bag. And a lot of people just don't have it. So when they see you with it, it's foreign. It's foreign. 
because it's uh, it's unrecognizable because it's not taught because a lot of people don't have it a lot of people don't have it it's foreign so it, it could come off fake to them like oh you fake happy like oh you fake like this whatever like no nah, because it's foreign and that's okay that's okay it may not be like for them it may not be meant for them to understand but all you know is that <laughs> this season is personal to you every single decision that you're making is intentional for your growth and your development it's intentional for your peace and your happiness that's all you know it's intentional it has nothing to do with them they wasn't considered in the decision making because they not with you all day every day they can't go with you when you die <laughs> they not they the actions that you do they don't get the consequences from actions like they don't you have to deal with every decision that you make and they have to dis deal with every decision that they make a lot of them they want you to follow in their footsteps they want you to be similar to them so that they can keep holding on to you so that they can just keep you on arm's length. A lot of people don't want to let you go. They don't want to see you grow because growth is uncomfortable. Growth takes a lot of change. Growth takes change. And unfortunately, sometimes that change is letting go of those that you love so that you can allow space to be able to flourish into your higher self. So if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you've been rocking with me, look, I invite you to become a member on this channel. I see y'all. It's lit over on the membership side, okay? I see y'all in the comment section. I see the new members. Um, what's up, y'all? <laughs> but that's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you. Stay spiritually in tune. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.